Today's video is gonna be a really good one. I'm fishing with a client on a guided trip. This guy has been subscribed to me for like three years on YouTube and and we're gonna be targeting the big, the huge redfish and we're gonna go do some creek fishing. So this is day of fishing is a good example of what can happen out here on a guided trip if you're interested in coming out here with me. So I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you out here in one of these Hobie Outback pedal kayaks that I have and I'll show you how to fish and where to fish and it can be a lot of fun. This is the perfect time of year to do it and winter's coming up which is also another great time of year for catching redfish. So if you're interested in coming out here with me, you should send me an email. I'll have my email on the screen right now. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. That helps out the YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Houston and this is Buford SC Fishing. Yeah, the biggest one I've caught in the creeks in the last couple of years, maybe 20, 22 yeah. maybe. We caught like, even yesterday in a creek, we, we caught some nice ones. We got like some 28, 27 oh, inches. Yeah. It's always the ugly stick. The ugly stick always catches them. Well, that's putting up a good fight. What we do if it's a shark? Get a I'll, get, the boat. I'll get it out. I'll get the hook out. I'm, I mean, it's making runs like a full red. Yeah, if it's a shark, I'll grab the hook remover and I'll I'll move this rod out of the way and I'll have you just bring it next to me and I'll get the hook out. Right. If it's a red, we gotta net it because that's gonna be an awesome picture. See, now it kind of gave up, so now it's, now it's telling me shark. <laughs> get this rod out of the way. What is that? Is it red? Yep. <laughs> awesome. Leader's tangled up. Alright. It's gonna be a little tricky. Every time just use the boat, it yeah. off. Let's move the rod back. I can get him around to the side over there. Alright, let's, let's try that. Yeah, let's try that. That's probably our best bet. Because that's the only place I can reach him. Yeah, I think he's about ready though. I think we can... We can do it right here. Try it down and up. Alright, alright. There. Oh my god, his net is way too small. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should have brought a bigger net. Yeah, we'll definitely get a measurement. But we want to handle these fish real fast, you know, get them back in the water soon. Okay. Real fast. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's as big as the 30. whole thing. 35. So you got 30. a... 34. We'll call them 34 and a half. Okay, now, now move your hand like under it so yeah, you can show off the spots. Oh, I gotta zoom out a little bit. Put him back in, hold his tail. Come yeah, keep up. A yeah, yeah. So really, you just want to see him. He's gonna just kick and swim away, but if he doesn't, then don't let, him, let go of him. But set him in there, and he's if he wants to swim away, let him swim away. Don't let him go upside down. Try to keep him upright, he, it'll be like, should only take like a second to get him to want to swim away. Just try and look at Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there he goes. Yep, he's going down, hopefully. Yep, he's went down. He yep. didn't flip over. Yeah. He's running into this one, I feel it. That sucks. He's definitely running into this one, so we're gonna have to try to untangle it. You just keep fighting them, I'm just gonna try to get it. Oh, uh, here, go over me real quick, and then we're good. There we go. All right, we're good now. 
Yeah, he's fighting like a red too. He wasn't biting like a red, but neither was the last one. Let's see. Yep, there he is. Looks smaller. There you go, they don't get much smaller than that out here in the deep water. Oh, one more time. There we go. It's got some cool spots though, so we'll get another good picture. He's, I mean, he's still 30, I'd say. Yeah, about yeah. 31, yeah. Still cooking right out too. Not much shorter than the other one. These sure look smaller. Yeah, that's how they are. Like they just they get a lot bigger. Exponentially bigger for every yeah. inch. Same thing. That one should he should be ready to swim right away. So just make sure he's not upside down when he tries to get away. <laughs> that one was out of the water for like less no, than a minute. Ready. Yeah. You catch large ones like that in the creeks ever? Oh yeah, like that size, that's about as big as they get in the creeks. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a fresh one on. There's no point in throwing that one back out. Yeah, I mean for a creek, if that was fish was in the creek, you know, I'd be, I'd be amazed but it's also, yeah, they think they get kind of that big in the creeks. But that'll be a giant for a creek. Yeah. <laughs> better enough second one to call. Okay, sure. that's good, that's good. I know that drag's a little tight. I hope this is a 40 incher. Does it feel really heavy? Or it no? feels as good as that first one. All sure. right. It was definitely bigger than that second one we got. Dang, this one's taking forever to come in. I think this is one big. Like big, the biggest of the day. He's definitely got some better runs. Yeah. He's definitely fighting like a red. Let's see this thing for sure. Because it's to be bigger than the last one. Ah, <laughs> there we go. That's gonna be pushing 40 inches. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see if his head even fits in this net. Oh yeah, yeah. He's gonna be real close to 40. I think he'll make it to 40. Yeah, look at the head on that fish. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, he's just bigger than the first one. Yeah, he's, he's way bigger and he's like so bright orange. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I mean, the difference in like... Jesus. That thing is huge. Look at, look, look, just look how much bigger he is. Just real quick, because we still gotta get a picture and get the hook out. 39, maybe oh, pushing here, 40, yeah, he's 40, 40 and a we're half. Calling that, yeah, we're calling that a 40. That's a 40 inch, for sure. I kind of try to turn his head towards me a little bit if you can. Yeah, yeah, good. Make it. There you go. All right, with that one. Oh, be careful. Yeah, he should be good he's to go, though. Go. He yeah. He wasn't playing around. As long as he doesn't end up upside down, he's good.
Oh, I see them. I see them. There's actually like five of them. <laughs> I had him. I just pulled the hook out of him. Just come right up next to me. Yeah, if you come right up next to me, you'll get your lure and you can cast right up here. little one but they're in there Of those little ones in there, I guess. Yeah, I saw like five of them earlier. All that grass. There you go. Yeah, you got them. Yeah, there's a whole school of those in there. Double. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love this time of year. Even though these are little ones, I mean, it's still. Oh, it's still fun. It's still Look fun. Look at tail, man. Look how blue it is. Yep. Imagine these, these ones are gonna be 40 inches one day <laughs> to catch. Oh. Okay, that's that's the big one you saw, I think. Definitely a bigger fish than those little ones. Yeah, the little keeper. I mean, dang, no, that's, I mean, it's 22 probably. That's a big one. Watch out. <laughs> that's actually way bigger than I thought. There we go. No, no. It's so funny, like, <laughs> how many you can catch in one little area. Two doubles in the same exact spot. And that one, yeah, he's he's probably like a perfect 22 inch keeper you don't want him do you nah, don't want him let him go
sometimes you gotta think like how many are in this little area that you're just catching them every cast <sighs> and just a tiny little like pond basically it can't be more than two feet deep yeah and yet it's actually full of fish and you wouldn't know by just looking at it you know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean other than you seeing the big ones swim around every once in a while even the big ones will sit there in a foot of water and go undetected. That's a tiny one, but still. It's like how many fish are there in that tiny little spot? go and catch him when he's 40 inches. Not a bad one either. I mean, he'd, he'd be close to a keeper. So the way it is for the trout is like they're they're out here at the drop off. So like, you know, so up there, like into the creek, it's shallow. But then once you get out here, I mean, it drops straight off. I'm in 12 feet of water. And so they're somewhere along the drop-off in the deeper water. So you kind of toss it like right on the edge of the mouth of the creek and just start working it out. Flounder. <laughs> Hit like a flounder too. Dang, he's probably 13, 14. Just can never get a keeper. Do you hear that? Can you hear them? You can hear the reds like drumming. That was some reds. I even like, I can hear them. It's just so shallow right here. That, that's a red. He just about hit you. Okay, that, that day was just an amazing day of fishing. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to leave a like. Also, I'll have my email on the screen right now that you can send me an email if you want to come out here and do something like that with me. Thank you for watching.